Hey Aquarius, three of wands. All right, so partnership, planning, growth, potential. So this is a card that signifies, if this was the two of wands, it would mean you yourself. You're planning your goals, you're planning your future, you're planning um, for yourself. The three of wands moves it into more of a partnership direction, into more of a two people together direction. So I really like this as your theme of the month because as your theme of the month, because it tells me, I don't feel like you're like looking like, oh, I need somebody, I want somebody, I need somebody immediately. Um, but this is like taking a chance on something new. This is about um, new growth, new adventure, but also again, new adventure possibly with somebody else, forming partnerships or relationships. It doesn't have to be immediate love relationship. It could just be meeting new friends, but Aquarius, this means something is on the horizon, something new, something adventurous coming in for you. And again, it could be the possibility of you partnering with somebody else. The next card you have is your current position coming into the month and you have the tower. The tower signifies um, destruction. It signifies a dissolution of something. So either this tells me that you're starting new because you want to build a new foundation. You've had tower moments where everything's kind of gone to crap or I feel like maybe this is an all encompassing too. I feel like this could be like maybe you last year finances went, you know, down the drain or work wasn't what you wanted. And I feel like you've spent the past couple of months, maybe even past year or so, just reflecting on what you want and what you're going to do to get to where you want to be and put your best foot forward. This feels more like Aquarius to me, life, not just love, not just relationships, not just dating. This feels like life because with the three of wands here, it makes me feel like, all right, now you're ready to possibly pursue somebody else. Again, I don't get this feeling that you're like running out there to get it. Like you have to have somebody, you're kind of like, you know, when the time is right, I would like somebody, um, to be in my life to move forward with but I feel like you've had a lot of rebuilding to do for whatever reason and like I said not just in love this feels like it could be just revamping your life in general maybe you came to a precipice and you're like hey where do I see myself 10 years from now if this isn't it then I need to make some movements I need to move the pieces around in my life to get what I want that's going to make me feel more fulfilled all right the next card you have is your current position how you're feeling coming into the month and you have the seven of cups so this makes perfect sense the seven of cups is about um, wishful thinking. It's about temptation. It's about, you know, possibly having some fun. It could be, you know, romantic fun or just fun out with people. But again, this is about, um, you know, kind of hoping for something, but just playing with it, toying with it, having, you know, good time thinking of maybe like some romance, maybe flirting a little bit, um, not pushing anything, but it's also saying like, you know, be careful between, what's real and what's not real. Um, I feel like this is kind of how you're feeling about if you're going to approach dating soon, because this comes up with kind of like, um, like you want to meet somebody, but you're going to be realistic about it. Like, you know, that it takes time. It takes work. You know that, you know, there are good people, bad people out of there. So this is kind of like, um, you do want some sort of pleasure in your life. Could be, you know, again, meeting new people, meeting a new lover, meeting somebody to head into a, some sort of, you know, relationship with. But again, this is you kind of going, okay, I know the difference between, you know, something that's like, if it's a, if it acts like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck versus somebody pulling the wool over your eyes. So I feel like you're kind of like ready to go and meet people and have a good time and experience new things. But at the same time, you're doing it very practically like, okay, this may take a while or this may not be, there may be some bumps in the road, but if you're ready to do it, you're ready to do it. The next card you have is your distant past over the past five, 10 years could be throughout your childhood. You have the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is kind of a romantic, it's a, a, kind of a charming entity here. And this kind of makes me feel like the universe is saying, Hey, look, whatever you've been through in the past, remember to have fun with it. Remember to go with it. Remember to, you know, have some, some sort of ease with it and also enjoy it because this is saying, Hey, by the way, like, um, yeah, you can have romance and you can have a good time. And you've had it before. So if you've been feeling like, eh, I'm not really searching for it or I'm not really, um, you know, I don't really care. Remember a time when you had somebody kind of romance you or sweep you off your feet. Because this is the type of energy the, the Knight of Cups is. The Knight of Cups is um, a commitment. Some sort of somebody who is um, that you were all encompassed with or maybe they were all encompassed with you. So this is the universe just saying, hey, by the way, 
you can have that again. You've had it before. So, you know, go easy. Like, again, I don't feel like any of you are rushing into it. Some of you are fine being single and maybe you just want somebody to hang out with, to go to dinner with, or have, you know, some sort of physical relationship with, Hey, you know, don't judge. We've all been there. Right. But the Knight of cups is saying, Hey, remember you can have this and the universe is saying, um, I always use the past, distant past as the universe's voice kind of coming back in, reminding you of what you can have or what you've had before. So this is just saying like, you know, enjoy it. I just keep hearing like, enjoy it, go with the flow. Don't try and control it. Just, you know, have some fun. All right. The next card you have is your immediate past or the past few weeks, past month or so. All right. So this kind of makes sense. This is the four of cups. The four of cups is feeling like you've been taken advantage of or taken for granted or wasted your time. So I really feel like Aquarius, you are... 50 50 here this month i feel like one minute you're like you know i'd like to meet somebody i'd like to meet somebody moving forward i can feel that there's somebody coming on the horizon here i've rebuilt a lot of areas of my life but i have re realistic expectations here but this is you kind of going well i've been here before i've done this before i've been taken advantage of before i don't want to waste my time so i feel like some of you are like you know one minute you know not not even gung-ho but like okay you know, let's stay, let's get my groove on, let's have some fun. And then the, and then the other minute you're kind of like, well, I've just wasted a lot of time. I just don't know if I have the energy for this. You know, maybe that ship has sailed. Maybe meeting somebody is. And you have the five of wands. The five of wands um, is about getting your priorities in, in check. So I feel like that's something you've done, but now that you decide to maybe meet people or start dating, it's going to be a little like chaotic and not in a bad way. Sometimes the five can be like, like chaos and kind of panic. But for you guys, I feel like this is more, um, chaos. Like you're going to have a lot of opportunities. You're going to meet quite a few people that, you know, could be good suitors or people are going to be contacting you or wanting to kind of get your attention. Um, but again, this is kind of like bringing you back down to reality of saying, okay, you know, there's responsibilities in life that I've, like, you've gotten your ducks in a row. You've built this like stable platform for yourself. You've started this foundation. And so you're just going to be very careful over the next few months that maybe before when you dated or before when you had relationships, it was easy to kind of let get lost in those because we all do that, right? We all do it. It's exciting. It's new, um, et cetera. But the five of wands is telling me this is like, you're going to be checking yourself every once in a while, like checks and balances. Like, oh, this person's really cool. Uh, you know, I want to give them attention. They're giving me attention, but then you're like, oh, you know, work comes first or kids come first or whatever the situation is. It's like, you're not going to, your head isn't going to get lost in the clouds. And I feel like everybody at some point has been in that position where that new exciting feeling with somebody can really overtake. But I think you've been doing so much to build yourself up that you're just like, I've got to keep myself in check every once in a while, pinch myself and go, okay, we're here in reality and we're having fun and this is all good. But there's like a, a, balance to my priorities and i'm going to stick with that the next card you have is your immediate future so over the next few weeks um throughout the month of may and you have the devil now the devil's capricorn's card so you could just be dealing with a capricorn but the devil does signify vices um controlling behavior jealousy um you know addictions uh all different sorts of things now not i don't necessarily think you have to worry about anything here but i feel like maybe some of you you know um but the devil's been coming up a lot too in reads. I just have to say that. And so it makes me feel like some of you either have had your own struggles with maybe, uh, with maybe, uh, and so this month, if you are dating, you're kind of watching out for that devil going, you know, I gotta be careful because, you know, there are certain people that, you know, lift us up. And then there are certain people that bring us down, including ourselves. We can be sometimes our own worst enemy. So I feel like some of you may be fighting with certain ailments of your own or certain things you've been through. But on top of this, I feel like it could just be that you're watching out for this type of behavior in other people. Not that you have any issues yourself, but it could be that, you know, maybe you've met people in the past who, um, you kind of had to take care of, if that makes sense. Like they were, um, you know, big drinkers or, pain pop pain pill pop whatever it is but because this can be like it can also be like lusting too so you may be avoiding meeting people who are just in it for the physical you know who are just in it maybe you've been there done that and you're kind of like okay no i'm looking for something a little more real i'm just not too concerned about this devil for you guys i feel like this is a very 
um, a very uh, low amount of any of this activity. I feel like it's almost more like a warning, like, just be careful, you've met people like this or you've been in these situations before and it didn't turn out well, so just be careful. The next card you have is anything tangible that's going to happen throughout the month. It could be the beginning, middle, end, last for a long time, last for a little bit, and you have the Fool. I love the Fool for you because it's the beginning of the Major Arcana, which is the beginning of a new cycle, and this is somebody who's like footloose and fancy free. This definitely tells me you should be getting out there. If you're not, or if you're like, oh, Dark Dove, I have no interest in getting out there. I'm not interested in meeting anybody. The Fool says, hey, at some point you will. And even if you don't want to, maybe the universe kind of pushes you. Maybe you go to a friend's barbecue or something and you meet somebody. This is almost like you won't be able to, you know, normally the fool does what they want and whatever. But I feel like this is almost a push from the universe or some sort of higher power or guardian angel, whatever you believe in, is saying, hey, by the way, you're going to meet somebody or bump into somebody or it's just going to be a chance happening. It's not going to be anything you can control. The next card you have is anything you're going to feel throughout the month. Again, could be the beginning, middle, end. You have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so first off, it could mean that somebody is watching you or tracking you. Maybe somebody's interested in you and they haven't come out and told you. Maybe it's an ex of some sort that is, you know, I, whenever I see this card, it, it does remind me of somebody who's maybe checking up on you. So maybe um, you'll be thinking about somebody a little bit this month. And maybe it's because they are, they're thinking about you as well. Again, not a reconciliation because I don't feel that coming for you at all. This is just, um, it, it's also like a poverty feeling, some sort of um, lost card. So it, I feel like, like I said before a couple times, Aquarius, you're in and out of your head. And I think this is part of it because one minute you may be meeting a couple people and you think, okay, they're really cool. That something could come of it, at least, you know, dinner or we could go on a date and then maybe you're let down because maybe it doesn't work out or they don't call you back or so I feel like you just you got to be careful about taking it too much into your headspace with this devil and with this here it's like don't take I just keep hearing don't take things so seriously lighten up don't don't take it personally if somebody doesn't call you back for a date or somebody doesn't text you back or whatever Oh, well, they're lost, right? It happens to everybody regularly and it can get under your skin or different things can make you feel like, oh, why am I doing this? Just don't, I just am being encouraged to let you guys know, like there's this on the horizon. Don't take everything, take it with a grain of salt. All right, the next card you have are your hopes and fears for the outcome of the month. And you have the six of cups. The six of cups is reminiscing. It's a beautiful card. It's about imagining what could be, remembering what it was that you used to want. Remember what it was that you used to think about doing with your life. Remember what it was that, um, you know, if you wanted kids or to get married or to adopt fur babies or whatever it is for you, the six of cups is saying, think about that. Remember that. Remember the things that you want. Encourage yourself to go after them and go get them. Why can't you have those things? Why can't you fulfill things that you've wanted? Um, things that you've always dreamed of. The next card you have is your outcome for the month and you have the Ace of Swords. All right, so the Ace of Swords is somebody who has clarity, logic, power. At some point, Aquarius, you're gonna come out of this mental whatever, back and forth in your own head, kind of, you know, one minute good things coming, the next minute feeling like good things aren't coming. And then you're gonna get out of that headspace and kind of realize you're in control. Okay, you're in control of where you go, who you date, what you want to do. So the Ace of Swords is saying, this is your clarity. This is your power. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you want. Take over your power. I feel like you're just in your own head right now. You're getting under your own skin. And the Ace of Swords is saying, no, take back your power. Do you want to date this person or not? Great. If you want to date somebody, make it clear. Like, I just feel like you have a lot more control in this whole situation than you think. Now, your clarifying card for the outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. This I love because I was talking about the Fool saying that you might not have control over who you meet or you might be pushed in a situation. The Wheel of Fortune clarifies that for me even more because the Wheel of Fortune talks about unplanned changes, things that change that are not in your control. It's about destiny and divine timing. So some things at play here, some things in the works for you, Aquarius. And again, I don't think you're going to have to go searching for it. I think it's going to come towards you. Will it fall in your lap? Maybe not. But if somebody starts striking up a conversation with you somewhere or whatever it is, like just go with it. Go with the flow. Don't overanalyze it. Don't overthink it this month. Because then your outcome here goes three to six. Um, you have the three of pentacles, which is teamwork. It's um, accomplishing things together, which goes well with these threes. Threes may be a, a number for you or a number to look out for. But 
you have threes, which is again, a partnership, a growth, some sort of planning. The three of pentacles goes along with that even further and saying, this is a teamwork. This is something, this is somebody that could be, you know, your, your partner here, not just in lust, not just in, in whatever, but in all aspects or in several aspects of your life. So just realize that you may be coming up to a potential, a new beginning with somebody that really exceeds your expectations. Then you have the six of wands, which is um, pride, achievement, success, feeling good, feeling like you're getting somewhere. So I feel like baby steps are happening, but eventually you're going to come to where you're feeling satisfied, where you're satisfied with the situation. It may even just be meeting somebody and you guys are dating exclusively in the next month or two. It doesn't have to be marriage and kids right off the bat or anything giant leaps and bounds. It could just feel be feeling satisfied in the aspect that, hey, I can really do this thing called dating or I can really do this thing called love again. Because like I've mentioned several times, you know, I feel like you're in and out of your head and like you need to get out of your head, take control and understand that you really do have the power here to manifest what you want. The only thing we're missing here is the magician because the magician takes a situation, a present situation and changes it for the better of themselves. And I feel that presence very strongly here with you, Aquarius. So have a great month. I will see you next month.